click New. Double click the Draw Template. Model View is selected by default. We want to first modify the sheet format. Click Cancel from Model View. Right click anywhere in the sheet. Click Edit Sheet Format. The sheet format contains your title block information. Double click on Company Name. The Note box opens and the formatting box is displayed. Enter your company name. You can modify text height and display. Click a position outside the box to end the note. Right click Edit Sheet to return to the sheet where you will insert views. Click File, Save Sheet Format. Enter a custom sheet format name, A Landscape. Click Save. Click Options. Click Document Properties. The selected drafting standard is ISO. You can also select ANSI and the other drafting standards. Expand Annotations. Click Font. Modify the point font to 12. Click OK. Click Dimensions. Expand Trailing Zeros and select Remove. Click OK. Click the View Layout tab. Click Model View. Select Tutor 1 as the part to insert. Click the Next arrow. Select the front, check Auto Start Projected View. Select Hidden Lines Visible. Click Use Custom Scale. Enter User Defined. Enter 1 to 4. Position the front view. Click a position above to place the top and to the right to place the right view. When you move the front view, the projected views move accordingly. You can also change the display of a view at any time. I selected the top view and select Hidden Lines Visible. Insert Annotations into the drawing. Click the Annotations tab. Click Model Items. From Source Destination, select Entire Model. Check Import Items into All Views. Click OK from Model Items. The dimensions that you use to create the part are inserted into the drawing. Click Save. Tutor 1 is the default drawing name. Zoom in on the top view. Click and drag the dimensions into position. Open arrows are displayed because of the ISO standard. Double click on the dimension 25. Enter 40. Click Rebuild. Click the green check mark. The dimensions are changed in the drawing. Click Save. Click Yes to save the document and the reference documents. The part and the assembly are both changed because of the 40 dimension. Click Window. Select the Tutor 1 part. The Boss extrusion is set at 40. Click Window. Select the Tutor assembly. Click Yes to update the document. The assembly has also changed with the modified Tutor part. Click Save. Return to the Tutor 1 sheet. Right-click on the Sheet 1 tab. Click Add Sheet. Click the View Layout tab. Click Standard View. Select Tutor. All three standard views are inserted into the drawing. Click Model View. Select Tutor. Select Isometric. Click Shaded. Click a position to the right. You can learn more about Bill of Materials and other options in the tutorials that are located in SolidWorks.